upstairs now, lots more paint gone on here. Let's go and have a look in this one because we've got some red paint now making it look brighter. What I'm trying to do is just contrast, quite a lot of light comes in here from the top floor here and we've got a um, red wall and the rest is just a natural hessian colour. The ensuite has started to have some tiling done in it. So you can see here some just darker tiles on the wall, on the floor, sort of a mushroom colour I think this is and some slightly lighter tiles to go around the back of the shower unit taking some um, you know, actually getting to look like a bathroom now. So this is upstairs, you can see the holes in the ceiling where we're going to have some down lights because obviously, you know, in the bathroom and so on, you want them out of the way, one in the shower area, one just outside. So let's go and have a look at what the other upstairs bedrooms are looking like. We'll have a look at the quaint room, very cute this one. And I could call it a dash of bright green in there, lime green, just to give us a focal point. And look at what's happening now with this beautiful fireplace which has not only been scraped back all the blues off there uh, but it's got iron paste now on top of it which is kind of the paint for that brings it up beautifully and the hours of work to bring that up fantastic so a nice light summery yellow and then you can see there out onto the back garden area so this is really lovely spare room now and there's just one more room to find it's that great big room the playroom It's just had a white coat of paint. These things are going to come up dark brown and dilemmas of whether it's going to be white or natural hessian or maybe grey. Uh, and I think we're settling onto the dove grey background and some, some paint colours in there just to liven it up a little bit. So you can see now much more clearly where the sockets are, the switches, and there's all the data points and so on for the televisions and playroom kind of things, all those Xboxes we need to put in here. So, Great big room, lots of lovely space, that's the upstairs, but we're actually starting to put the baths in downstairs, so let's go and have a look at that. So this room is now ready to plaster, we're ready, we'll fill the rest of the room with a little piece of architrave around there, the uh, hanging rail to match, and come and have a look at what's happening now inside this ensuite. Haven't seen much inside here, it's just been a box, um, but you can now see that the pipe work's coming in, the shower's in place over here, there's going to be like a radiator towel rail here, and loads of electric wiring. I don't even claim to know what that's doing. So, fan up here and wiring down to a light here over the sink. Toilet over there, that's where the soil pipe will go. So, this room is really taking shape with architrave sitting in here, lovely on suite. So, really big room, and then you can see that we've still got the floorboards up here where the pipe works going underneath, and that will all be covered over just as soon as those pipes have gone right the way outside the building. So in the main room now, you can see over here that the door piece has been cut and that's going to be a bespoke made door out there onto what's now been um, put in as a balcony. We haven't got the railings in, just the flooring for that and the wood that's going to support it. So that's all done. All the windows now have been replaced completely so they're all looking pretty smart. That's smart. Um, come through into the dressing area and we still haven't quite decided how that's going to be fitted but it's going to have some fitted cupboards around here. And most important to me, a little tea station over here so I can make my cups of tea. Everybody knows how much I love my tea. Um, and then if you come into the bathroom, we've actually been playing around this morning with the bath. This is the bath that's going to go in this room. It's pretty huge. Just playing with that, seeing where that's going to fit across this corner. And over, over here, you can see this waterproof plasterboard that's going to be backed onto the shower, which will come out over here. A sink here and a toilet in the corner. So, We've been playing around with that, making sure it's going to look right. It's even got chalk, if you can see, right the way under here, just showing where the bath's going to be, because obviously that's going to come back out again whilst the floor is tiled and whilst it's prepared, painted and so on before the bath is fitted. So that's the main room, and we actually have been playing in the main bathroom as well, so let's go and see that. So this bathroom still needs quite a lot of work doing on it, but if you come inside this bathroom now, we've been also trying to work out where this bath figures. Now this one's actually going to be a, a freestanding bath with legs on the bottom of it, whereas the other one was just a flat to the floor. This one's going to sit away from the wall, and what we've been doing is to work out where the pipe work goes down this wall, how far it sits away from here, and again, we've chalked on the floor to make sure that, that that's... Uh, in place so that when we start to do the tiling on the floor it can be put back and so on. There's obviously quite a lot of rotting wood so many of these floorboards will have to be replaced 
um, and this one here, you can see that the insulation has gone in this stud wall because this is the piece of wall that we borrowed to make the ensuite in from the spare room next door. And you can see where the old walls were and so on. Um, now we had some fun and games down here because they put the soil pipe in and then uh, they put the pipes over the top of that. But they seem to have rectified that now, so that's quite useful. Um, and this is beginning now to uh, be worked on so that we can have the bathroom properly installed in here. You can see the windows and interestingly this one is one of the walls, this is from this room and this window was from an entirely different room. You can see the break here in the ceiling where the other room was. So this one has sort of a round edge on it all the way round the window and that one has a frame round it. Now we're not going to match those up, we're going to keep those characters just as they were, no point putting an extra frame in, you could, you could make them all match up, but in this case we're going to keep it just like it is and those two windows will make a lovely airy sort of bit of light through to the bathroom as well. So this ensuite as well, on from the guest room, is beginning to look large now that we've got the walls in. You can see the plaster boarding's gone there, the different colour between the just standard plaster boarding and then the waterproof plaster board. Pipe's already there, there's going to be a bath with a shower over here in the corner. Right back to that very old-fashioned area where we've got the very high toilet uh, going in there. So it's beginning to look bigger now, and this again is the borrowed corner from the original bathroom. You can see where we've taken the walls there, left the gap in the ceiling. So that's made it nice and large. That's going to be fun for as a guest room. I don't know whether you remember the meat room, that piece that was coming off at the back that we thought we'd just fixed together. We weren't sure whether it needed underpinning or not. Well, guess what? We just pulled it down. So come and have a look in here. Um, and there's uh, Chris, he's been chopping away all morning. So now we've got uh, an exposed wall here. I'm going, hang on, maybe we need a conservatory in here. But actually, we're going to put the wall back up. We'll have two lovely windows, one there, one there. Um, be careful and come through here. Mind you not to step on anything. You can see right out to the back now. Um, all the bricks that have come down from the wall wash will be used to put it back up again. Um, you can actually see the trench has been filled in now down the garden. So it's coming along, and I think the pipe comes along here somewhere, uh, right up to the back of the house. In fact, it goes across there uh, with all the drainage and so on, right out to the front uh, gates and so on. So we've got some, um, these pipe poles are holding up the ceiling whilst we're building this, having taken the whole piece down. So let's watch this space while we build it back up again, but at least then we won't have this piece of roof, uh, sorry, piece of wall that looks like it's falling off at the back, and that'll be a nice room to be able to use again.